Hey guys, it's PDS. So as you guys know, I'm a huge hero fan and I just wanted to make this video to show you guys some hero cards I think they can get in Duel Links and what can make them top tier. Alright boys, so starting us off is Destiny Hero Dystopia. It is a level 8 warrior. It requires two Destiny Hero monsters. So this card is introduced in Arc V with Aster Phoenix being in the anime. So this card is, you know, pretty likely to come to Duel Links. Its effect reads, if this card is special summoned, you can target one level 4 or lower destiny hero in your graveyard and inflict damage to your opponent equal to that target's attack. And then if this card's current attack is different from its original attack, except during the damage step. Quick effect, you can target one card in the field, destroy it, and if you do, this card's attack becomes equal to this card's original attack. So you can only use this effect once per turn. So, how do you trigger that second effect? It seems pretty powerful, right? Oh, quick effect, pop on your opponent's turn and on your turn. So you can use cards that manipulate the attack, such as, you know, a field spell, like Field of the Warriors, or you can use equip spells, you know, like a Phoenix Blade, something that works with Warriors. And then that first effect, obviously, um, that's probably going to be halved, that damage effect. So it's probably going to do, like, let's say you target Celestial. Instead of doing 1600, you'll do 800, or maybe even 400. I don't know how they would adjust it. So why do I think this card is good, and why do I think it belongs in Duelings? So... Obviously, that the second effect is extremely powerful. It gives heroes something to end on turn one to get some sort of disruption. Because right now, they don't really have that, you know. They're relying on generic staple cards such as the, uh, you know, like Book of Moon or even like, you know, like Cosmic Cyclone. Something like that. Something along those lines to try and get some interaction on your opponent's turn. Because all you can really do is, you know, use Increase and Summon Vion. So that's not really doing, accomplishing much. So this monster allows you to have some interaction on your opponent's turn. It's also pretty powerful. You know, 2800 attack is nothing to laugh at. So yeah, so this card is extremely good. Um, it gets better with the other cards I'll show you guys. So if it seems a little lackluster, just, you know, hold on. Don't, don't, go, don't storm the comments just yet. All right, boys. So the next card on the list is going to be Destiny Hero Dynatag. So this is another card introduced in the Arc V era. So its effect reads, during damage calculation, when you would take battle damage quick effect you can discard this card make yourself take no battle damage from that battle and if you do each player takes 1000 damage so obviously that effect would be halved um, it is a hand trap too so quite nice if you get into it and um, it'll it'll save you so you know heroes lacking something like this um, you can really utilize it um, with something else I'll show you later on but yeah so then you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one destiny hero monster you control. It gains 1000 attack until the end of your opponent's next turn. So this goes along with the other card I just showed you, Dystopia. You can have your Dystopia gain 3800, you know, he goes up to 3800 and then that will allow you to trigger his effect to pop a monster on the field. So really, really nice synergy between these two cards. Now the only issue is how do you get this guy to your hand? You know, that is... A question that needs to be answered because sure you can make him you know now you have three you know you well you really have four so you have you're gonna be playing you know celestial malicious dynatag and then maybe plasma so you got four good names to go into dystopia because it does require two destiny heroes and this card you know it is a level five but it is extremely useful in the graveyard and in the hand so you don't really mind drawing it that often so I really like this card. This card, among all the other cards, I say is the weakest that I'm going to list. But this card is extremely important to um, resolve. You know, so you have a consistent dystopia um, disruption because you really need that. Because you don't want to be playing field spells and you don't want to be playing equip cards to manipulate dystopia's attack. So the one thing I will note about this card is that, you know, it is extremely nice with dystopia. The only issue is that it doesn't restrict you hard into like heroes so i can totally see other decks just abusing this card you know like a kiteroid kind of card so um but you know it is not really as good as kiteroid maybe you know it's it's actually more similar to karibo and you know since karibo isn't really hit i don't think this card would be adjusted on any like forbidden and limited list but you know how people are it's just something that i wanted to note because you know, I just noticed it, so I was like, oh, hey, you know, maybe that could be something. So, yeah, let's go on to the next card. All right, so the next card is going to be Elemental Hero Shadow Mist. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this card. So its effect reads, if this card is special summoned, you can add one change 
quick play spell card from your deck to your hand. So that's right, boys. You finally have a way to search gear gear change. I know you guys have been really, really wanting to have a card to get to that. So now you finally have it. Um, so how do you trigger that effect? Uh, you get to use cards like Shadow Mist. I mean, sorry. You get to use cards like Solid Soldier um, and, you know, even Powerful Rebirth when it's in the graveyard. So you have a lot of ways to, you know, just just examples. You know, Goblinburg, that's another card that works with this. But, of course, if you use Goblinburg, that's going to make Stratos miss the timing. So you got to pick and choose carefully. And then if this card is sent to your graveyard, you can add one hero monster from your deck to your hand except Elemental Hero Shadow Mist. And you can only use one effect of Shadow Mist per turn and only once that turn. So that means if you use one effect, you can't use the other. So that's the little balance here. So if this card, you don't really, you know, as much as I like the special summon effect, you primarily use it as a monster to send off of Vion. So when you use Vion, you can send Shadow Mist and then Shadow Mist will get you a card to your hand. So that is really, really strong because that makes Vion. A plus two so that means you get two cards out of Vion so Vion sends Shadow Mist you get a card and then you banish Shadow Mist with Vion to get polymerization so that gives you two cards so that makes your polymerization play you know way less um, minus in card advantage so I really really like that and um, Shadow Mist can actually search for any hero monster so that includes the card I just showed you Dynatag so now you have a consistent way of getting Dynatag to your hand and to use dystopia's pop effect and of course this if this um monster can be used in other hero strategies so if you have a more masked hero focused build you can do that um you know if you want to add plasma you can do that too there's a lot of things you can do with this card and i really really like it um one of my favorite cards i'm really hoping we get it eventually and yeah let's move on to the next card so the next card i wanted to show you is elemental hero liquid soldier this is another semi-recent um card so its effect reads, when this is normal summon, you can target one level 4 or lower hero monster in your graveyard, except Liquid Soldier, special summon it. So this card will let you trigger Shadow Mist, the one I just showed you. Of course Shadow Mist is once per turn, so you can't, you know, send it to the graveyard and then summon Liquid, special summon it, get match change. But it is a way to get some follow-up, so that's something heroes lack. Um, their really only follow-up is, you know, you if you go turn 1, you summon... The Vion increase, you know, you do all the, you send Celestial, and then you just, you know, your follow-up is going to be that polymerization, and that's really it, you know, and then you're, you're hoping to draw mass changes, but this gets you some definitive follow-up, so that's something, you know, good decks need, they need that follow-up. And then the other fact is if this card is used as a fusion material for a hero monster and sent to the graveyard or banished, you can draw two cards, then discard one card. You can only use one effect of liquid soldier per turn and only once that turn so this card is great it gives you a really nice um you know it's a really nice comeback card when you draw it for turn or even if you already had it in your hand and then the second effect for the fusion material is really really nice because you know if you summon something like adoration from the hand if you use this card you can draw two cards and then discard a card so you can draw deeper into your deck for mass changes which is going to be one of your win conditions you know you want to get that otk going and then of course if you're using cards like miracle fusion to banish it from the graveyard you can draw two more cards so you know you can set up ways to just use this card in your hand and then also use miracle fusion on the following turn to try and draw four cards total so that gets you really really deep into your deck and yeah so this card is amazing um, obviously, it's also a water, so that's very unique to heroes. They really only have Bubble Man, you know, as a, as a really other good card being a water. So, yeah, hopefully we can get this card. Um, right now, you know, if we didn't get anything, any of the other support, Liquid actually still be really, really decent, to be honest, because of the draw. You really want to dig for those mass changes. So, uh, let's hope we get Liquid. He's really, really powerful. And then let's move on to the final card. Alright boys, so the final card I wanted to show you is Elemental Hero Sunrise Level 8 Light Warrior. It requires two heroes with different attributes. So, you know, Liquid Soldier being a water, that's going to be relevant, you know, because it is going to help you. A lot of the heroes right now are dark, besides, you know, Stratos, that is being played in the deck, so you really need those different attributes to help you out. So, must be Fusion Summon, of course, that's like a generic hero thing. Monsters you control gain 200 attack for each different attribute you control. So what does that mean? So if I have Sunrise and I have Stratos on the field, that means all my hero monsters gain 400 automatically. 
So that's a continuous effect. And if I have just Sunrise by himself, he gives himself 200 attack. So he's always 2700. So the 2500, it's a scam. It's a lie. I'm sorry, guys. It's actually 2700. So that effect is really nice because it ties in to the first guy I showed you, Dystopia. Because as you guys know, when his attack is different than what it originally is, he can destroy a card. So if you have both of these guys out, you can get a pop with Dystopia. So it's really, really nice because he'll, you know, you, all of your hero monsters are going to gain 400 if you have Dystopia and Sunrise out. So they have a lot of synergy together. So I really like that about Sunrise. But that's not even the best part about him. So if this card is special summoned, so that means when you fuse for it, so, you know, you, usually you can do something like Vion, send Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist adds the liquid to your hand. Then Vion banishes Shadow Mist. You get the Poly. And then you use Poly and you fuse Vion with liquid. So you, with one card, you have Sunrise. So when Sunrise is summoned, you can add one Miracle Fusion from your deck to your hand. So that is really, really nice because as you guys know, Liquid's second effect, you know, when he's fused from the hand or banished. So now you have a way to trigger his effect on the following turn. So you're going to have really, really nice um, OTK potential with drawing. And then also Sunrise giving you Miracle. You're going to have two bodies with over 4k attack. So really, really nice card right here. And then its other effect is when an attack is declared involving another hero monster you control, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. So that is really nice. That's basically like free pops, right? So if they can't get rid of Sunrise and they swing into one of your weaker heroes, you can destroy a card on their field. So they have to read the card very carefully. And then, of course, when you go to attack with one of your weaker hero monsters, you can destroy a card on their field. So this card is insane really really good um i'm really hoping we can get it because this card helps you know it helps promote like a more fusion oriented hero build like more fusion than just you know going for trinity otk instead of just mass changes so i really really like this card too i know i keep saying that because guys i really like heroes so <laughs> yeah and then i wanted to show you guys a skill i came up with so before i show you this skill i just want to tell you I made this skill extremely broken, of course, because I want heroes to be top tier. And this video is just a wish list. You know, you guys can disagree with me, and that's perfectly fine. This is just something I wanted to show you to just try and get you to see that there are great cards still left to be introduced into Duel Links and to never give up hope on your decks because we can always get the really amazing cards and then the decks go right up to top tier again. All right, boys, so the skill I made is going to be on Aster Phoenix. And it is called Fusion Destiny. So it reads, this skill can only be activated the turn after a fusion monster on your field is sent to the graveyard. Instead of conducting your normal draw, draw one Fusion Destiny from outside of your deck. This skill can only be used once per duel. And this skill can only be activated if your deck contains 10 or more hero monsters. So I wanted to keep the skill generic to heroes because I know... Fusion Destiny is a really, really good card, so I don't want it to be abused in other decks. And the skill will trigger off of, you know, using Mass Change off of your Fusion Monster getting destroyed. So I wanted to, you know, I wanted an easy way to, to activate it, but also be very, very powerful. So Fusion Destiny, if you guys don't know what it does, it lets you Fusion Summon one Fusion Monster from your extra deck that lists a Destiny Hero Monster as material using monsters from your hand or deck. So that effect is extremely powerful because you can summon Dystopia with this one card and it sends Malicious and Celestial to the graveyard. So if you guys know heroes, you guys know that that's really, really good because having Celestial in the graveyard means you get follow-up. So it's really nice. And then obviously having Malicious lets you um, play a little bit more. And then of course you can play also um, Dangerous. That's in here, Dangerous. And it lets you send Malicious and Shadow Mist to try and do some cool plays because that is a one card plasma as well you send malicious and shadow mist and then you summon dangerous shadow mist will get you to your stratos you summon stratos you get plasma and then you banish malicious special malicious you have three monsters on the field and then you can go for plasma so really cool um really cool card i like it a lot and then this skill will make it so that it's not as generic as it would be otherwise because you do need to have 10 hero monsters in your deck and then the rest of the effect reads um, it, just, it gets destroyed at the end phase of the next turn 
and then uh, the fusion monster that is. And then of course, um, for the rest of this turn, you can only special summon dark hero monsters. So that is the the quote unquote balance. But obviously, you know you have a lot of dark heroes to play with. So uh, how likely is it that a skill like this is introduced? Not very likely. But I just wanted to make a really good skill for heroes that would make them, you know, godlike. So yeah, guys, what do you think of my support? Do you guys think that this will put heroes into the tier one, tier zero spot? I think I think it would honestly, but let's see what you guys have to say in the comments. Thanks for watching as always. It's been PDS and have a good one.